in the heart of Silicon Valley, amidst the hustle of innovation and the glow of digital progress, lies a monument to the mysterious, a testament to the unseen forces that thread through our lives. Welcome, dear listeners, to the inaugural episode of Echoes of the Unseen, where today we journey into the shadowy corridors of the Winchester Mystery House, a dwelling as enigmatic as the tales that haunt its halls. Constructed by Sarah Winchester, the bereaved widow of the gun magnate William Wirt Winchester, this sprawling mansion is an architectural anomaly, born from grief and the whispers of the beyond. For decades, the sound of hammers and saws filled the air as Sarah sought to appease the spirits of those felled by the very rifles that forged her fortune. Staircases leading into the abyss, doors that serve as portals to brick walls, windows gazing into other rooms, each peculiar feature of the house tells a story, a narrative steeped in sorrow and the desperate search for redemption. The Winchester Mystery House stands as a monument to the power of belief and the lengths to which one woman went to find peace with the unseen. As we peel back the layers of this haunting tale, we invite you to step into the dimly lit passages of the unknown. Feel the chill in the air, the weight of eyes unseen, and the echo of footsteps in empty rooms. Join us as we unravel the mystery of a house built by the living for the spirits of the dead. Welcome to Echoes of the Unseen. The Legacy of Fire In the fabric of American history, few threads are as entwined with the spirit of innovation and the shadows of consequence as that of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. Our story begins in the mid-19th century, an era of tumult and transformation, where the invention of the Winchester Rifle would forever alter the landscape of the American Fender. This was a weapon unlike any other. Its rapid-fire capability bringing a grim efficiency to the hands that held it. It was hailed as the gun that won the West. A title that carried both pride and a profound, unsettling legacy. The Winchester Repeating Arms Company emerged from the fires of ingenuity and necessity, a beacon of American manufacturing prowess. Its founder, Oliver Winchester, was a businessman of remarkable foresight, navigating the company through the flames of civil strife and into the annals of legend. The rifles they produced were marvels of the age, celebrated for their precision and reliability. Yet, behind the sheen of success and the smoke of gunfire, a darker narrative whispered in the shadows of progress. As these firearms etched their way into the fabric of a nation, they also sowed seeds of sorrow across the landscapes they dominated. Every crack of a Winchester rifle carried the weight of consequence, a reverberation felt in the heartbeats of a burgeoning nation, and in the silences that followed. The gun's role in history was as complex as the country itself, 
a symbol of protection and power, but also of loss and division. It was this duality, this marriage of innovation and introspection, that would pave the way for one of the most enigmatic chapters in American lore. As the Winchester Repeating Arms Company grew in fame and fortune, its influence reaching the far corners of the globe, a personal tragedy would soon cast a long shadow over the Winchester legacy. The death of William Wart Winchester, heir to the Winchester fortune, would mark the beginning of a tale so intertwined with grief guilt, and a quest for redemption, that it would transcend the boundaries of the ordinary, venturing into realms unseen. Thus sets the stage for our journey into the heart of darkness, a path that leads us to the doors of a mansion as mysterious as the forces that inspired its creation. A house that stands not only as a monument to personal loss and the search for peace, but as a physical embodiment of the complexities of the human spirit, entangled with the threads of history and the whispers of the beyond. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the Winchester Mystery House where every hallway and hidden room reveals another piece of a puzzle that is as bewildering as it is captivating. This is a story of a house built by an empire of arms, a dwelling conceived in the shadows of death, where the echoes of the past are as palpable as the mysteries that shroud its existence. Welcome to the Legacy of Fire, the beginning of our journey into the unknown. Shadows over New Haven. In the shadow of greatness, and amidst the echoes of industrial triumph, the life of William Wart Winchester unfurled like a tapestry, woven with threads of ambition, love, and eventual tragedy. The only son of Oliver Winchester, William was born into a legacy of innovation and power a destiny marked by the thunder of gunfire and the weight of expectation. His path seemed preordained to steer the Winchester Repeating Arms Company into new horizons, to uphold the family name matched in steel and smoke. William's early years were shaped by privilege and purpose, educated in the best institutions preparing him to inherit an empire built on the repeater's mechanism. In 1862, amidst the turmoil of a nation at war with itself, William's life would take a pivotal turn. He married Sarah Pardy, a woman of exquisite intellect and enigmatic depth, her elegance matched only by her curiosity for the world beyond the veil. Together, they embarked on a journey, not just as husband and wife, but as heirs to a legacy that was as much a curse as it was a blessing. The years that followed were a blend of prosperity and profound sorrow. The Winchester name grew synonymous with American ingenuity. Bet the shadows lengthened in the corridors of the Winchester home. The couple's happiness was mawed by personal loss. The death of their daughter, Annie, 
plunging Sarah into a chasm of grief from which she never fully emerged. And let, through it yell, William stood as a pillar of strength, navigating the company through the ebbs and flows of fortune and fate. But fate, it seems, is not without a sense of irony. In the spring of 1881, at the height of his power, William Wart Winchester fell ill. Tuberculosis, a specter that claimed many in that era, now cast its pall over the Winchester household. His health declined rapidly, and with it, the certainties of an empire. On March 7th of that same year, William breathed his last, leaving behind a world of unfulfilled dreams and unanswered questions. His passing marked the end of an era and the beginning of a legend. Sarah Winchester, now a widow, found herself alone, adrift in a sea of grief, her heart heavy with loss. The empire that had been her family's source of pride now seemed an ominous monument to those it had silenced. The whispers of the dead mingled with the winds that swept through New Haven, a solemn reminder of the price of progress. With William's death, the veil between the past and the present seemed to thin. The borders between this world and the next blurred by sorrow and the search for meaning. Sarah stood at the crossroads of eternity, her heart a battleground between the love she had lost and the legacy she had inherited. It was here, in the depths of despair, that the seeds of the Winchester Mystery House were sown, a project that would consume her, a mansion that was as much a sanctuary as it was a prison, built to house the spirits of a past that refused to die. Join us as we continue our journey through the halls of history and the corridors of the unknown, where every turn reveals a new mystery, every shadow a story untold. The Winchester Mystery House awaits, its doors open to those brave enough to enter, its secrets hidden within walls that whisper of love, loss, and the eternal quest for redemption. Welcome to the shadows over New Haven, the beginning of a legend shrouded in mystery and mawed by tragedy. Veil of Sorrow In the wake of William's untimely demise, Sarah Winchester found herself enveloped in a veil of sorrow, a widow cloaked in the shadows of her profound losses. But the death of her beloved husband was not the first time grief had visited her. Years earlier, Sarah had experienced the unimaginable pain of losing a child an agony that left an indelible mark on her soul, and foreshadowed the labyrinth of mourning she was yet to navigate. The couple's daughter, Annie Pardee Winchester, was born in the summer of 1866, a beacon of joy in the Winchester household. However, happiness proved fleeting, as Annie was taken by Marasmus an unforgiving condition that robbed her of nourishment. Her life extinguished before her first cry had barely echoed in the halls of their home. This loss cast a long shadow over Sarah, 
a wound that time refused to heal, a pain that silence could not quell. These personal tragedies, first the loss of Annie, and then William, wove a tapestry of grief that enshrouded Sarah's heart, a darkness no light could penetrate, the world she had known, filled with the promises of love and a potential of the future, crumbled beneath the weight of her despair. The echoes of her daughter's whispers and her husband's laughter haunted the empty spaces of her home, a constant reminder of what had been and what could never be again. In the solitude of her grief, Sarah sought solace in the spiritual, turning to the practices of spiritualism that had begun to permeate the Victorian era. It was a time when the veil between the living and the dead seemed at its thinnest, a period when many, like Sarah, sought to bridge the gap between worlds, to find comfort in the possibility of communication with those they had lost. Spiritualism offered a glimmer of hope, a chance to connect with William and Annie, to assure her heart that love transcended the boundaries of life and death. Rat, this search for connection also opened doors to the unknown, to whispers of the past that carried warnings and premonitions. Sarah became enveloped in a world where the lines between the living and the spirits of the dead blurred, where every seance, every attempt to reach beyond the grave, deepened her entanglement with forces beyond her comprehension. It was in this state of vulnerability and yearning for closure that Sarah received a chilling prophecy, a mandate that would dictate the course of her remaining days. The medium, a conduit to the world beyond, spoke of a curse, a vengeful tide brought forth by the souls of those felled by Winchester rifles. Sarah was told that her family's fortune was blood money, wealth accumulated at the cost of countless lives. To appease the spirits, to ensure her own salvation, and escape their wrath, she was instructed to build a home for herself and the specters that trailed her. This house was to be a sanctuary and a prison, a never-ending construction project that would both seal and bind her to the spirits. Thus began the journey into the heart of darkness, a path that led Sarah Winchester to San Jose, California, where the foundation of the Winchester Mystery House would be laid. This mansion, a monument to loss and a testament to the unseen, became the canvas on which Sarah painted her grief, her guilt, and her quest for redemption. It was here, among the twisting corridors and stairways to nowhere, that Sarah sought to construct a labyrinth of love and remorse, a fort risks against the shadows that stalked her. Join us as we continue to unravel the enigma of the Winchester Mystery House, a tale of architectural madness and spiritual quest where every room tells a story of heartbreak, and every door opens into the realm of the unknown. This is the story of Sarah Winchester, a woman haunted by loss, driven by guilt, and bound to a destiny as mysterious as the house she built. Welcome to the Vale of Sorrow a chapter in a saga that bridges the gap between the seen and the unseen, between the living and the spirits that linger in the shadows of the past.
whispers from beyond. In the latter half of the 19th century, America found itself at a crossroads of progress and mystery, where the rapid advancements of the industrial age clashed with an insatiable curiosity for the world beyond the veil. It was a time when the spiritualist movement swept through the nation like a whispering wind, capturing the hearts and minds of millions, including Sarah Winchester. This chapter in our tale delves into the ethereal realms of spiritualism, exploring how its doctrines shaped the destiny of a grieving widow and the architectural marvel that would become her life's work. Spiritualism, with its promise of communication with the deceased, offered solace in an era plagued by loss and uncertainty. It emerged as a beacon of hope for those like Sarah, drowning in the depths of grief. The movement claimed that death was not an end, but a transition and that the spirits of the departed could, and did, communicate with the living. This belief was not merely a comfort. It was a revelation, a key that unlocked that doors to the unknown, and promised reunion with lost loved ones. For Sarah Winchester, whose heart was a mausoleum of sorrow, the allure of spiritualism was undeniable. The death of her daughter Annie, followed by the loss of her husband William, had left her adrift in a sea of despair. In the whispers of mediums and the seance circles, she sought answers, guidance, and a peace that had eluded her in the material world. Spiritualism became her refuge a sanctuary where the veil between the worlds thinned, and the voices of the past reached out to the living. Under the influence of spiritualist beliefs, Sarah's actions took a turn towards the extraordinary. She became a frequent visitor to mediums, those gifted individuals who claimed to be the condolates between the living and the dead. It was in the dimly lit chambers of a Boston medium that Sarah's fate would take its most profound turn. The medium, channeling the spirit world, delivered a message that would chart the course of Sarah's remaining years. She was told that her family's fortune was built on the bloodshed of those who had fallen to Winchester rifles and that the spirits of these souls sought retribution. The medium's prophecy was as clear as it was chilling. Sarah was to move west and build a house for herself and the spirits, a construction that could never cease if she wished to find peace and evade the spectral wrath. This revelation, born from the heart of the spiritualist movement, became the foundation upon which the Winchester Mystery House was conceived. It was to be an architectural offering to the restless spirits, a ceaseless end ever that sought to appease the unseen. Thus, the spiritualist movement, with its seances, mediums, and messages from the beyond, wove itself into the very fabric of the Winchester Mystery House. Sarah's belief in the ability to communicate with spirits and her desire to make amends with the victims of the Winchester legacy propelled her into a perpetual state of construction. Stairways that led to ceilings, doors that opened onto walls, and rooms that serve no apparent purpose were all part of a grander design, guided by the whispers of the dead and the dictates of the spirits. As we venture deeper into the labyrinth of Sarah Winchester's creation, 
We find ourselves enveloped in a world where the line between the living and the dead blurs, where architecture becomes a medium for redemption, and where every corridor and secret passage reveals a new layer of mystery. Join us as we continue to explore the enigmatic world of the Winchester Mystery House, a monument to a woman's quest for peace, and a testament to the enduring power of belief. Welcome to the realm of who whispers from beyond, where the echoes of the past shape the shadows of the present. journey into the male strom. In the aftermath of her haunting consultation with the Boston medium, Sarah Winchester stood at the precipice of a decision that would not only redefine the course of her life, but also etch her name into the annals of the mysterious and the macabre. Guided by the spectral warning that her life and indeed her very soul, was in peril from the vengeful spirits of those slain by Winchester rifles. Sarah resolved to embark on a journey westward, a pilgrimage dictated by fate, and fudged in the crucible of her ceaseless sorrow. The year was 1884 a time when the American West was still a tapestry of untamed landscapes and burgeoning settlements, a frontier of both danger and opportunity. It was to this setting, so emblematic of the nation's restless spirit, that Sarah turned her gaze, seeking solace not in the escape from her legacy, but in a profound, and perplexing communion with it. Her destination was the Santa Clara Valley in California, a land of fecund orchards and sprawling vistas, where the future Winchester Mystery House would take root. Sarah purchased a modest stateroom farmhouse nestled amidst the apricot and plum orchards of San Jose an unassuming canvas upon which she would pour her boundless resources, her architectural whims, and her negotiations with the unseen. Here, construction commenced, an endeavor that would continue unabated for the next 38 years of her life. This was no ward in every act of dwelling. It was a mandate from beyond, a directive to build a sanctuary for the spirits appeased, and a labyrinth to confound the malevolent ones. The project began under a veil of secrecy and ambiguity, with Sarah employing a rotating crew of carpenters and craftsmen who worked in shifts, ensuring that the sound of hammers and saws filled the air from dawn till dusk. There were no architects to draft plans, no blueprints to guide the construction. The house grew organically, a manifestation of Sarah's visions and the whispered guidance of her nocturnal seances. Rooms were added atop rooms. Doors opened onto sheer drops or brick walls and staircases led to sealed ceilings, each oddity a chapter in a story only Sarah could read. The motivations behind the house's peculiar design remain a topic of speculation and intrigue. Some say it was meant to confuse and deter the spirits, a maze to trap those with malevolent intentions. Others believe 
that each oddity was a homage to the dead, a feature added to appease the specific soul or to rectify the feng shui disrupted by the spirit's unrest. The truth, as it often does, lies shrouded in the mists of history and the depths of Sarah's own heart. As the house grew, so too did its legend. Lopals whispered of the eccentric widow whose mansion had no end, of the strange sounds that emanated from its halls at night, and of the spectral figures seen wandering its unfinished rooms. The Winchester Mystery House became a living entity, a monument to grief, guilt, and the unrelenting pursuit of redemption. In this chapter of our journey, we explore the genesis of the Winchester Mystery House, a tale of one woman's quest to confront her demons and to make peace with the spirits that haunted her. It is a story that challenges the boundaries of the known, inviting us to question the nature of guilt, the possibility of redemption, and the existence of a world beyond our own. Join us as we step into the labyrinth, where the walls whisper secrets of the past, and the shadows hold the key to understanding one of the most enigmatic figures in American history. Welcome to the journey into the maelstrom, where the path to salvation is paved with mystery and the unknown. The Labyrinth of the Lost As the Winchester Mystery House rose from the fertile grounds of San Jose, it evolved into an architectural enigma, a sprawling estate whose myriad corridors, staircases, and rooms defied the conventions of design and logic. Each addition to the house seemed to serve as a piece in a puzzle that only Sarah Winchester could comprehend. Her motivations, as veiled and complex as the structure itself. This chapter delves into the heart of the mansion's most peculiar features, exploring the labyrinthine layout that has puzzled and intrigued visitors for over a century. At the core of the Winchester Mystery House's mystique are the staircases that defy expectation, leading those who dare to ascend into the unknown. Some staircases spiral upwards, only to end abruptly at the ceiling, a path to nowhere that leaves wanderers confronting the limits of their understanding. These staircases, according to lore, were designed to confuse and mislead spirits that might be pursuing Sarah, a three-dimensional mace crafted to protect her from the vengeful dead. Equally bewildering are the doors that serve as portals to the improbable. Imagine, if you will, a door that opens to reveal not another room but a sheer drop to the garden below, or a wall that stubbornly blocks the way forward. These doors, scattered throughout the mansion, suggest a world where the boundaries between spaces, and perhaps between realms, are fluid and negotiable. They evoke a sense of disorientation, a physical manifestation of Sarah's psychological labyrinth where one is constantly confronted with the unexpected and the inexplicable. Then there are the windows that defy their traditional purpose, 
offering views not to the world outside, but into the depths of the house itself. Some are found in the floor, casting light into the rooms below, while others frame walls, their grass panes revealing nothing but brick and mortar. These windows suggest a voyeuristic glimpse into the inner workings of the house, or perhaps serve as a symbol of the inward gaze, an invitation to look deeper into the mysteries of the mansion, and, by extension, into the enigmas of the soul. The house is replete with rooms whose purposes are as enigmatic as their creator. There are rooms constructed for seances, their designs perhaps facilitating communication with the spirit world. Others seem to serve no discernible function, their porners and alcoves holding secrets that have let to be unraveled. One such room was discovered only recently, hidden behind a wall, its existence unknown for decades. What purpose these spaces served in Sarah's grand design remains a matter of speculation, each theory as fascinating as the next. The Winchester Mystery House, with its bizarre features and architectural curiosities, stands as a testament to Sarah Winchester's unrelenting quest for peace and redemption. It is a physical manifestation of her struggle with grief and guilt, a monument to the unseen forces that guided your hand. As we explore the labyrinth of the lost, we are invited to consider the nature of the boundaries we encounter the ones that guide us, the ones that confine us and the ones that we dare to cross in our own searches for meaning. In this chapter, we have wandered the halls and climbed the staircases of one of the most perplexing structures ever built, a house that is as much a riddle as it is a residence. The Winchester Mystery House challenges our notions of reality and invites us to ponder the mysteries that lie just beyond the reach of our understanding. Join us as we continue our journey through the shadows, where every door opened and every step taken brings us closer to the heart of the enigma that is the Winchester Mystery House. Echoes of the Fallen Within the walls of the Winchester Mystery House, every nail driven and every board placed whispers of a connection to the unseen, a bond between the living and the spirits of the departed. This chapter ventures into the heart of the legend that has enveloped Sarah Winchester and her architectural enigma exploring the haunting theory that her ceaseless construction was not merely an act of personal grief or madness, but a mission dictated by the spirits of those who fell to Winchester Rifles. The Winchester Rifle, known as the gun that won the West, was a symbol of American progress and expansion. Debt this progress came at a steep price, the lives of countless individuals. As the fortune of the Winchester family grew, so too did the shadows passed by these fallen souls. It is said that Sarah Winchester came to believe that her immense wealth was tainted. 
built upon the suffering and demise of others. This belief was crystallized during your fateful consultation with a spiritual medium who purportedly channeled her late husband, William, conveying a dire warning. Sarah was to be perpetually haunted by the spirits seeking vengeance for their untimely deaths, unless she embarked on a never-ending quest to build them a home. Driven by this spectral mandate, Sarah's construction of the Winchester Mystery House can be seen as an elaborate ritual of appeasement, an attempt to quell the unrest of the aggrieved spirits. Each room, each labyrinth in corridor, and each architectural oddity was not merely an expression of eccentricity, but a sanctuary for the souls who had been silenced by the family legacy. The house's bewildering design staircases leading to nowhere, doors opening onto walls, and windows gazing into other rooms, was believed to confuse or mollify the spirits, creating a space where they could find peace or become ensnared in its maze-like confines. The concept of building to appease spirits is not unique to the Winchester Mystery House, but echoes a deeper, almost universal human impulse to communicate with the afterlife, to make amends for the past, and to seek redemption. Sarah's relentless expansion of her home, therefore, can be interpreted as an ongoing dialogue with the dead, a tangible manifestation of her hope for reconciliation and forgiveness. Critics and skeptics may argue that these theories are the product of fanciful interpretations or the sensationalism of a story too good not to embellish. Debt to dismiss the spiritual underpinnings of Sarah Winchester's endeavors is to overlook the profound impact of grief, guilt, and the search for meaning in the face of loss. The Winchester Mystery House, with its peculiar features and endless construction, stands as a monument not just to a woman's fear or eccentricity but to her profound engagement with the unseen and the unresolved. As we delve into the echoes of the fallen, we confront our own beliefs about the afterlife, the consequences of our actions, and a possibility of redemption. The Winchester Mystery House serves as a mirror, reflecting our collective fascination with death, the supernatural, and the lengths to which one might go to right the wrongs of the past. In this chapter, we have explored the eerie theory that Sarah Winchester was guided by the spirits of those claimed by Winchester rifles, a theory that imbues every aspect of the mansion with a sense of purpose and a whisper of the uncanny. Join us as we continue to journey through the shadows of history and the mysteries of the human heart, where the line between the living and the dead blurs, and where every story holds the promise of uncovering truths stranger than fiction. Welcome to the realm of echoes, where the past speaks, and the walls of the Winchester Mystery House listen. Amazed to trap the shadows. 
in the heart of the Winchester Mystery House, amid its bewildering array of rooms and passageways, lies a deeper, more enigmatic purpose, a design conceived not just to house the living and the dead, but to ensnare the malevolent spirits that lurked in the shadows of Sarah Winchester's life. This chapter delves into the intricate web of corridors and dead ends, exploring the belief that the mansion was intentionally crafted as a labyrinth, a complex trap for the spirits drawn to the Winchester legacy. The very architecture of the house, with its staircases that climb into the ceiling, doors that open into brick walls, and windows that peer into other rooms, serves as a testament to this theory. Each element, seemingly nonsensical to the casual observer, is thought to have been meticulously planned with the intention of disorienting and capturing spirits that meant harm. This architectural chaos, a physical manifestation of Sarah Winchester's inner turmoil, was her strategy to create a space where evil could not find its way, a sanctuary shielded by confusion and complexity. Sarah's belief in the power of such a design is said to have been influenced by the spiritualist doctrines of her time, which held that spirits were bound by the physical constructs of the world they haunted. By creating a house with no discernible logic, Sarah hoped to create a puzzle too perplexing for malevolent entities to navigate. The endless construction, the constant hammering and sighing, were more than just noise. They were part of the ritual, a means to continuously alter the layout and keep the spirits at bay. Moreover, certain features of the house, such as the seance room, positioned at the heart of the mansion, and had its dual purpose as a spiritual fortress and a trap. It was here, in this room, that Sarah is believed to have communicated with the spirits, seeking guidance on how to appease the benevolent and entrap the malevolent. The room, with its one entrance and multiple exits, served as a metaphor for Sarah's attempt to control the flow of spiritual energy within the house, to ensure that once a spirit entered, it would find escaping a challenge beyond its ethereal capabilities. The house's design reflects a profound understanding of the spiritualist belief that spirits move through spaces differently than the living. Corridors that loop back on themselves, doors that lead to precipitous drops, and skylights in floors instead of ceilings all these features suggest a realm governed by a logic beyond human comprehension, a realm tailored to the spectral inhabitants Ceres sought to confine. In embracing this labyrinth in design, Sarah Winchester may have sought not just to protect herself, but to exert control over the unseen forces that dictated her life. The Winchester Mystery House, in its grandeur and complexity, stands as a monument to the battle between one woman and the spirits that haunted her, a physical battleground where the lines between Vector and Vanquished blur. As we wander the halls of this architectural enigma, we are compelled to consider the lengths to which grief and guilt can drive the human spirit. The ways in which we seek to make sense of the senseless. The Winchester Mystery House, with its doors to nowhere and stairways to the sky, invites us to ponder the mysteries of the afterlife and the power of belief to shape our reality. 
in this chapter, we have explored the intricate dance between Sarah Winchester and the spirits she believed she was both housing and evading. Join us as we continue to delve deeper into the heart of this mystery, where every turn reveals a new secret, and every secret holds the key to understanding the legacy of the Winchester Mystery House. Welcome to the maze, a trap for the shadows, where every step taken is a step into the unknown. From shadows to spotlight, as the sun sets on the eerie silhouette of the Winchester Mystery House, its labyrinthine corridors and enigmatic chambers transition from a personal quest for salvation into a beacon for the curious and the brave. This chapter narrates the house's metamorphosis from a private sanctuary and spectral labyrinth into a museum and tourist attraction, where the veil between history and mystery is both celebrated and scrutinized. After Sarah Winchester's passing in 1922, the house she had tirelessly expanded and reimagined for 38 years stood as a silent testament to her life's work a work shrouded in enigma and sorrow. Let the silence would not linger for long. The very peculiarities that defined the Winchester Mystery House, its stairways leading to nowhere, doors opening onto walls, and windows within floors, beckoned to the public imagination, transforming Sarah's architectural marvel into a monument of intrigue. The transition from private residence to public attraction was swift, with the doors of the mansion opening to the public. Visitors from across the globe began to flock to San Jose, drawn by tales of the house's haunted hallways and the woman whose spirit was said to wander its rooms. The mansion's transformation into a museum did more than preserve its physical structure. It immortalized Sarah Winchester's legacy, casting her story into the annals of American folklore. As guests may enter through the house, guided by the glow of lantern light, they tread the fine line between the historical and the supernatural. Each room offers a glimpse into Sarah's world, for architectural eccentricities serving as a cipher for her grief, her guilt, and her quest for peace. The tours, while illuminating the mansion's history, also invite speculation and mystery, encouraging visitors to ponder the unseen forces that may still linger within its walls. The Winchester Mystery House, in its role as a tourist attraction, serves as a cultural touchstone, a place where the past and the present, the tangible and the ethereal, converge. It is a space where stories of the supernatural are explored and debated, where skeptics and believers alike can contemplate the mysteries of the afterlife and the human psyche. The house challenges visitors to confront their fears, to question the nature of the unknown, and to consider the lengths to which one might go to seek redemption and solace. 
In addition to guided tours, the mansion hosts events that celebrate its unique place in American history and the paranormal. From flashlight tours on Halloween to presentations on Victorian morning customs, these events deepen the connection between the house and its audience, bridging the gap between entertainment and education, between curiosity and understanding. The transformation of the Winchester Mystery House into a museum and tourist attraction is a testament to our enduring fascination with the unexplained and the macabre. It stands as a monument not just to Sarah Winchester's life, but to the human condition itself, to our fears, our losses, and our eternal search for meaning in a world filled with shadows. As we conclude this chapter, we are reminded that the Winchester Mystery House is more than a collection of rooms and corridors. It is a narrative woven into the fabric of American culture, a story that continues to captivate and mystify. Join us as we journey forward, exploring the legacy of a house that has transcended its physical boundaries to become a legend, a place where the past whispers to the present and where every shadow tells a story. Welcome to the Spotlight, where the mysteries of the Winchester Mystery House unfold in the glare of public fascination, inviting all who dare to step inside and discover the truth hidden within its walls. whispers in the dark. Beneath the veil of fascination that shrouds the Winchester Mystery House, there lies a deeper, more unnerving layer of its legacy. The countless accounts of paranormal experiences reported by those who have walked its halls. This chapter delves into the spectral encounters that have solidified the mansion's reputation as a nexus of the supernatural, where the past lingers in the present, and the air is thick with the whispers of the unseen. Since its transformation into a museum and tourist attraction, both staff and visitors have reported phenomena that defy logical explanation. Footsteps echo in empty rooms, doors close of their own volition, and cold spots appear in the air, as if the spirits Sarah Winchester sought to appease or confuse still own the mansion, curious about those who now tread their domain. One of the most frequently reported sightings is that of a spectral figure believed to be Sarah Winchester herself, seen in the corridors of her creation, her presence a silent testament to her undying connection to the house. Staff members opening the mansion in the early hours speak of hearing her soft footsteps, a reminder that perhaps she never truly left. Visitors have recounted encounters with ghostly apparitions in Victorian attire, vanishing before their eyes. These phantoms, some speculate, could be the spirits of those linked to the Winchester rifles, drawn to the house as a beacon in their afterlife journey. In the seance room, an epicenter of the house's mystical aura. Guests have reported feeling an overwhelming sense of sadness, 
a psychic imprint of the countless seances Sarah held in your quest to communicate with the beyond. The mansion's infamous Hall of Fires, named for its multiple fireplaces, is another hot spot of paranormal activity. Here, the temperature is said to fluctuate inexplicably, as if spirits are passing through their ethereal presence chilling the air. Photographs taken by visitors often reveal orbs and streaks of light, anomalies that defy explanation, adding a visual testament to the eerie sensations felt by those who wander its rooms. Paranormal investigations have equipped with the latest technology in ghost hunting, have recorded DVP, electronic voice phenomena, within the mansion's walls. These audio recordings capture voices from the ether, whispers, and pleas that cannot be explained by the living. The sounds of construction, hammers hitting nails, and sauce cutting through wood have been heard in the dead of night, when the mansion lies dormant, as if the endless building commanded by Sarah continues in another realm. Perhaps the most compelling accounts come from the mansion's caretakers, those who spend their days and nights within its walls. They speak of unseen hands that brush against their shoulders, the feeling of being watched, and the sudden movement of objects that were moments before at rest. These experiences, shared by skeptics and believers alike, suggest that the Winchester Mystery House is more than a historical curiosity. It is a living, breathing entity, a place where the boundary between the material and the spiritual world is permeable. As we conclude this chapter, we are left to ponder the true nature of the Winchester Mystery House. Is it merely an architectural wonder? a monument to one woman's grief and guilt? Or is it, as the countless accounts of paranormal activity suggest, a portal to the unseen, a place where the spirits of the past continue to seek solace and recognition? The whispers in the dark invite us to question, to explore, and to believe in the possibility that beyond the realm of the living lies a world that defies our understanding. Join us as we venture further into the mystery, where each shadow and each echo tells a story, where the unseen becomes seen, and where the history of the Winchester Mystery House continues to unfold, not just as a chapter in a book, but as a living narrative that captivates the imagination and stirs the soul. Welcome to the realm of whispers, where the past is never truly gone, and where the spirits wait just beyond the veil of reality. Echoes through time and art. As the Winchester Mystery House looms in the twilight of San Jose, its enigmatic presence and haunted history have transcended the boundaries of mere architecture, inspiring artists, filmmakers, and writers to capture its essence in their work. This chapter explores the portrayal of the house in films, literature, and other media, 
showcasing how Sarah Winchester's architectural enigma has become a canvas for the imagination, a source of inspiration for tales of mystery, horror, and the supernatural. In the realm of film, the mansion has served as the backdrop for narratives that weave together fact and fiction, history and horror. Movies like Winchester starring Helen Mirren as Sarah Winchester dive into the heart of the mansion's lore, branding historical events with the supernatural to explore the psychological turmoil and spectral encounters purportedly experienced by Sarah. The film invites audiences into the dimly lit corridors of the house, offering a visual and emotional portrayal of its endless rooms and stairways and the spirits that linger within. Literature, too, has found a muse in the Winchester Mystery House. Novels and short stories have been set within its walls drawing on the mansion's real and imagined mysteries to craft narratives that explore themes of guilt, redemption, and the afterlife. Authors have conjured tales of characters drawn to the house, either to uncover its secrets or find themselves ensnared by its spectral inhabitants. The house serves as both setting and character, a silent observer to the dramas that unfold under its roof. Beyond films and books, the mansion has infiltrated popular culture through television documentaries and series that probe its mysteries, seeking to unravel the truth behind the legends. Paranormal investigation shows have spent nights within its rooms, using technology to detect evidence of the supernatural, their findings broadcast to viewers eager for a glimpse into the unknown. These programs often highlight the house's most infamous features that pour to nowhere. The seance room, the stairway to the ceiling amplifying the mansion's mystique. The digital realm has also embraced the Winchester Mystery House with virtual tours and interactive experiences allowing users from around the globe to explore its corridors and hidden rooms. Betty O Games have drawn inspiration from its architecture, creating levels and narratives that echo its maze-like design and haunted reputation. Social media platforms buzz with stories and images shared by visitors, further cementing its place in a public consciousness. Through these various mediums, the Winchester Mystery House continues to captivate and inspire, a testament to its enduring allure. Each portrayal, whether grounded in fact or flourished with fiction, adds layers to the mansion's legend inviting audiences to ponder the line between reality and the supernatural. The house's influence on films, literature, and media not only preserves its legacy, but also ensures that new generations are drawn into its mystery, perpetuating the fascination with Sarah Winchester's creation. As we close this chapter, we reflect on the Winchester Mystery House's transcendent nature, its ability to ignite the imagination and provoke curiosity. It stands not just as a monument to the past, but as a muse for the present and future, a source of endless intrigue and inspiration. Join us as we continue to explore the shadows and stories that fill its rooms, where every echo through time and art reveals a new facet of this enigmatic mansion's tale. Welcome to the legacy of the Winchester Mystery House.
where the walls do not just tack, they whisper secrets to those who listen closely enough. Legacy of the Labyrinth As we stand at the threshold of conclusion in our journey through the enigmatic corridors of the Winchester Mystery House, it is time to reflect upon the indelible legacy of Sarah Winchester and the architectural marvel she left behind. This chapter delves into the enduring fascination with her life the mysterious mansion she built, and the broader implications of her story on our collective psyche. Sarah Winchester's life, shrouded in sorrow and solitude, has become a tapestry upon which numerous narratives of grief, guilt, redemption, and the supernatural have been woven. Her decision to spend the latter part of her life constricting an endless maze of rooms and corridors has puzzled historians, architects, and spiritual seekers alike. Yet, it is this very puzzle that lies at the heart of the mansion's allure. The Winchester Mystery House stands as a monument not only to one woman's attempt to navigate her personal tragedies, but also to the human quest for understanding in the face of the unknown. The legacy of Sarah Winchester extends beyond the architectural oddities of her mansion. It touches on the universal themes of life, death, and the afterlife, challenging us to consider our beliefs about the spirit world and our actions in this one. Her story is a poignant reminder of the ways in which grief can shape our decisions, drive our creativity, and influence our legacy. It raises questions about the nature of guilt and a possibility of redemption inviting us to ponder whether the construction of the mansion was a means of atonement, a sealed against unseen forces, or a labyrinth in journey towards self-understanding. The continuing fascination with Sarah Winchester and the Winchester Mystery House is a testament to the enduring appeal of the mysterious and the macabre. It captivates those who seek to understand the motivations behind your architectural choices and those drawn to the paranormal aspects of the mansion's legend. This fascination underscores our collective attraction to stories that blur the lines between history and folklore, reality and myth. As we contemplate the legacy of Sarah Winchester, we are reminded of the power of storytelling. Her life and the mansion she built have inspired countless tales, each interpretation adding to the mansion's mystique. The Winchester Mystery House remains a cultural touchstone, a source of inspiration for artists, filmmakers, writers, and anyone who grapples with the mysteries of existence. In closing, the story of Sarah Winchester and her mysterious mansion is a mirror reflecting our own fears, curiosities, and desires. It is a labyrinth that invites exploration, not just of its physical space, but of the depths of the human heart and mind. The legacy of Sarah Winchester 
and the Winchester Mystery House continues to resonate because it speaks to the core of the human experience, a search for meaning, the need for connection, and the hope for peace in the aftermath of loss. As the doors to this chapter close, the story of the Winchester Mystery House remains open, a narrative that continues to evolve with each visitor who walks its halls, and each listener who imagines its echoes. The mansion, with its twisting corridors and hidden rooms, stands as a testament to the complexity of the human spirit a legacy as enduring as the mysteries it houses. Welcome to the end of our journey, but perhaps just the beginning of your own exploration into the legacy of the labyrinth that is the Winchester Mystery House. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the winding corridors and shadowed rooms of the Winchester Mystery House, we close a chapter not just on a tale of architectural wonder and spectral whispers, but on a story deeply rooted in the human experience. The Sarg of Sarah Winchester and the enigmatic mansion she built is a narrative that weaves together the threads of grief, mystery, and the endless quest for understanding in a world filled with both beauty and perplexity. The Winchester Mystery House stands as a monument to the power of the human spirit to endure, to create, and to seek meaning in the face of insurmountable loss. It challenges us to consider our own beliefs about the afterlife, the impact of our actions, and the ways in which we seek to leave our mark on the world. The mansion, with its doors leading nowhere and stairways to the ceiling, serves as a reminder that life, much like its core doors, can be a labyrinth of choices and challenges where the journey is as significant as the destination. In reflecting on the legacy of Sarah Winchester, we are invited to ponder the mysteries that lie at the heart of existence, the unseen forces that shape our lives, and the ways in which we cope with the inevitable specters of grief and guilt. Her story, and the house that embodies it, continue to captivate and inspire, drawing us into a world where the boundaries between the material and the spiritual blur, where history and legend intertwine, and where every shadow, every whisper, holds the potential for discovery. As this part cast comes to a close, we leave the Winchester Mystery House not with finality, but with an invitation to continue exploring the mysteries that surround us, to question the narratives we are given, and to seek out the stories that linger in the shadows, waiting to be told. The legacy of Sarah Winchester and her mysterious mansion is a testament to the enduring fascination with the unknown and a reminder that sometimes the most compelling stories are those that resist easy explanation. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Echoes of the Unseen. May the stories we've shared inspire you to explore the mysteries of your own world, to look beyond the surface, and to wonder at the enigmas that lie just beyond the reach of the light. Until our paths cross again in the quest for understanding, Keep listening for the whispers in the dark, and remember, the end of one story is just the beginning of another. Farewell, dear listeners, until we meet again in the tales yet untold.